While Frodo and Sam make their treacherous journey to Mount Doom, Aragorn, Gandalf, and the rest of the company try to distract the eye as they go up against the Black Gate. Welcome to the Black Gate Opens, Part 17 of my Saga Campaign. The decks I've chosen for this quest are a Three Hunters deck. It's side 1A. You cannot have LA cards in your deck. Each of your heroes can have one additional restricted attachment. Reduce the cost of the first restricted attachment you play on each of your heroes each round by one and refresh action. If each of your heroes has at least two restricted attachments, flip this card over. Side B. Each of your heroes can have one additional restricted attachment and gets plus one willpower for each restricted attachment on it. Exhaust this card to heal one damage from each of your heroes. And the heroes are Aomer, he's 10th threat, 1, 3, 2, 4, Rohan Noble Warrior. Response, after Aomer commits to the quest, Spend one resource from his resource pool to declare him as an attacker and resolve his attack against an enemy in the staging area. Gimli is 11th threat, a 2-2-2-5, two, 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 dwarf noble warrior. Gimli gets plus X attack for each damage on him. And Legolas, he's... Ninth threat, a one three one four Sylvan Noble Scout. Ranged. Response. After Legolas commits to a quest, discard a card from your hand to ready another hero. If that hero is Gimli, he gets plus one willpower until the end of the phase. Limit once per phase. And the starting threat for this deck is 32. And the uh, Aragorn version for this quest is he's a 2, 3, 2, 5, Dunedain, Gondor, Noble, Warrior, Sentinel. The first player gains control of Aragorn. Action. Spend one resource from Aragorn's resource pool to ready him. Limit once per phase. And the other deck I've chosen is a Gondor deck. We got Baragon. He's a 10 threat, 0 willpower, 1 attack, 4 defense, 4 hit points. Gondor warrior, Sentinel. Response. After Baragon defends an attack and takes no damage, reduce the Defending player's threat by one. Limit once per round. Now we've got Gandalf. He's 14 threat. He's a 3-3-3-5. Three, 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 Astari. Play with the top card of your deck face up. Once per phase, you may play the top card of your deck this, as if it were in your hand. When playing this card this way, Gandalf is considered to have the printed Leadership, Lore, Tactics, and Spirit Icons. And the third hero is Prince Emerhill. He's 11 threat. He's a 2, 3, 2, 4. Gondor, Noble Warrior. Combat action. Spend one resource from Prince Emerhill's resource pool to search the top five cards of your deck for an ally that shares at least one trait with him and put that ally into play. Shuffle your deck. At the end of the phase, if that ally is still in play, shuffle it into your deck. Limit once per round. And the starting threat for this deck is 27.
I'm going to take a mulligan. Only one restricted attachment. Gondor deck and draw their starting hand. We're going to keep this hand. One A, MC from the Dark Tower. Add the Black Gate and the Mouse of Sauron to the staging area. Set Gwai here aside out of play. Shuffle the encounter deck. Got the Black Gate. It's zero threat, zero quest points, immune to player card effects. The players can't travel here. The black gate gets plus one threat for each resource on it. Forced. At the beginning of the quest phase, place one resource here and raise each player's threat by one. And the mouth of Sauron. It's got 99 engagement cost, four threat, six attack, five defense, 11 hit points, Mordor, immune to player card effects, can't leave the staging area. Forced. After a player cancels a win revealed effect, the mouse of Sauron makes an immediate attack against that player. We also add the two race on wings that we earned. They can't have, there is 45 engagement cost, zero threat, six attack, 4 defense, 12 hit points, Nazgul, can't have non morgul attachments, race on wings gets plus 1 threat and minus 1 engagement cost for each resource on it. Forced, at the beginning of the quest phase, place 1 resource on race on wings, limit 5 resources. Two A, oh, one B, dire. That means that your threat elimination level is increased to ninety nine, and valor is increased to eighty. When revealed, in player order, each player places a top card of his deck face up in front of him until the end of. until there are four cards face up in front of them. Then replace the top four cards of the encounter deck and pair each face up card with the highest threat card in the encounter deck. And for each pair, the first player must choose either discard cards in that pair or reveal the encounter card to play the player card at no cost. Dagger of Westerness. And this is a proxy for a Shadow of the Past. The card that neutral card that costs two and you can put the top card of the discard pile on top of the encounter deck. Rohan Warhorse and a test of will. We got the Easterling Bowman, Jaws of Steel, Snaga Archer, and the Hellhawk.
So we're going to discard Sermon Staff to discard the Snaga Archer. And we're going to discard the Test the Will and discard the Easterling Bowman. We're going to discard the Rohan Warhorse to discard the Nazgul. And then we're going to play the Jaws of Steel. When revealed, assign X damage among characters you control, where X is the number of resources on the Black Gate. Well, there's no resources on the Black Gate, so we deal no damage. And I'm going to put the Dagger of Westerness onto Aomer. And now 2A, the Battle of the Mornor. When revealed, each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a different orc, troll, or Nazgul enemy and adds it to the staging area. Shuffle Gua here into the encounter deck. We're gonna, one of them is going to be the Snaga Archer. The other one's going to be the Orc of Mordor. Now we shuffle Gwai here into the encounter deck. Okay, each hero gets a resource. Draw a card, Armor of Erebor, and we raised our threat by one and searched the deck for the Andril. One thing you can do that you can read it on the starting the setup card for the Black Eight opens. We're going to put a cram on the Baragon, a bow of Gladrium onto Leg Loss, giving a plus two attack. We'll put Andriel onto Aragorn. Now we're going to go over to the Gondor deck, draw a card, we're going to put the Black Arrow onto Legolas,
and put the Gondorian shield onto Baragond. And Narya on the Gandalf, giving him the leadership icon. Now we're going to go into the questing phase. We're going to use Armor's ability. First, we have to put a resource on the black gate in each of the race on wings and raise our threat by one. Now we're going to Use Amorous ability and attack for five and destroy the Snaga Archer. We're going to quest for one, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, twelve. Also, we're going to quest with Legolas. Thirteen. And discard a card. No, we're not going to discard any cards or... Now we reveal why here. We're going to put that into play, engaged with the Gondor deck. And the second card is a Gorgoras Hill Troll. So we've got a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11 in the staging area. So the quest is successfully by 1. So now we're going to optionally engage the Orc of Mordor and one of the Nazgul.
deal out shadow cards. We're going to ready up Aragorn and block the Orc of Mordor. Attacking enemy gets plus one, so he's attacking for four. And we have three defense, so we take one damage. And then we just attack back with Andriel and destroy the Orc of Mordor. Then we're going to block the Wraith on Wings with Baragon. And attacking enemy gets plus one, so he deals one damage. That's one damage to Baragon. Now we go to the next round. Raise each player struck by one. Each hero gets a resource. Draw a card. We're going to play the Wizard Pipe on the Gandalf. And we're going to put Shadow Packs on the Gandalf. Now we're going to go over to the 300 stack, draw a card, War Axe. We're going to put a War Axe onto Gimli. It's plus one attack for each restricted attachment. We're going to put a golden belt onto Aragorn. Now we go into the quest phase. I'll put a resource onto the black eight and raise each player struck by one. We're going to quest for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and we're going to 
discard a card and ready up Aragorn. Now we're going to spend one resource and attack and put two damage onto the hill troll. And there's a total of three, four, five, nine, eleven in the staging area. First card is Rage Filled Him. Mouse of Saren makes an immediate attack against the first player. We're going to block with Baragond. No shadow, no damage. Right, lower our threat by one. And now, second card is another Rage Filled Him. We're going to block with Squai here. After this attack, attacking enemy engages the next player and makes additional attack. It does 3 damage to Gwai here. And the shadow effect does nothing because that Mouse of Theron cannot engage a player. And last card, a Nazgul of Mordor. So there's a total of 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 15 in the staging area. So the quest is unsuccessfully by 2. But we're not going to engage anyone. But we are going to use the cram and ready up Baragon. And we're going to block the ring race on wings with Baragon. No dam shadow, no damage. Now we're going to attack back with readying up Gandalf with Shadow Facts. So we're attacking back for four. Aragorn, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we deal five damage to the Nazgul. Go to the next round, making each player threat by one. Draw a card, Valiant Sword. Gimli has one, two, three, four, five, ten. Now we need eleven to get down the Nazgul. We're going to put the Valiant Sword onto. Legolas.
and an unexpected courage out onto Baragond. Then we're going to play a quick strike and just attack with leg loss and use the black arrow and deal seven damage to the race on wings, destroying it. Now we're also going to put a Raymond of War onto Gimli, giving him plus one attack, one defense, and two hit points. And he gets another attack because of the war axe. We go over to the Gondor deck and draw a card. We're going to use the wizard's pa pipe and switch cards with the top of the deck. And then I'm going to play one resource from Gandalf's Fool and Baragons and play an Unexpected Courage and put that on the Legolas. Now we go to the questing phase. Put one resource onto the black eight and raise each player's threat by one. We're going to quest for one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and I'm discarding a card to ready up Aragorn. And Gandalf makes eleven, twelve, thirteen. And there's a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 17 in the staging area. We're going to use Emmerich's ability. I mean, Emmerich's ability to deal two damage to the Gorgoroth 
filtral. First card is the Wall of Morinor. Second card is a Easterling Bowman. We have to deal one damage to a questing character. We're going to do that to Legolas. And third card is a Doom One. And each player has to either discard the highest cost ally they control or raise their threat by one for each character they control. So we're going to raise our threat. So the 300 stack goes up by four, 45. And the John Doerr deck goes up by 4 to 49. And Ill Fate, the Surge, puts it onto Emmerhill. And another Wall of Moron. So we added a total of 12 threats to the staging area, bringing it up to 29. So we quest it unsuccessfully by 16. So we raise our threat by 16. So it brings us up to 65 for the Gondor deck. And 61 for the 300s deck. We're going to travel to the Wall of Morn. Well, Wall of Morn is the active location. Each enemy and location in the staging area is immune to player card effects. And when it comes to the active location, we turn each engaged enemy to the staging area. Well, there's no engaged enemies. But we do have a few cards to we have to engage. Hill Troll. With the uh, Gondor deck. And the Race on Wings. With the uh, uh, optionally engage the Easterlings, and the race on wings comes down naturally. Now we deal out shadow cards. We're going to take the Easter. Oh, we have one archery. We're going to put that onto Legolas. We're going to take the Easterling Bowman undefended. And attacking enemy gets plus X, where X is the number of resources on the black gate. That's three, so he gets six, and we have. Two extra defense, the hit points, so we take six damage. He also gets plus six attack. Now we're going to block the race on wings with the Baragon. Discard a non-objective attachment. We're going to get rid of the 
leave for F Limbus, because even if the Gondor deck defended, the 300s deck is still a defending player. Now we're going to go over to. We're going to re reduce our threat by one. Now we're going to block the Hill Troll with Baragond. Attack, no, Shadow takes one damage. Now we attack back. Attack back with Aragorn, and he attacks for five Pierce two, and he's going to destroy the Easterling Bowman. And now Gandalf is going to attack with Y here for seven and destroy the. Hill Troll. Go to the end of the round. Raise each player threat by one. And each hero gets a resource. Draw a card. We're going to put the, it's a wizard pipe. We're going to put the unexpected courage back on top of the deck, and then we're going to play unexpected courage and put it onto Gimli. We're going to put a Defender of Ramas into play. Now we're going to go over to the 300s deck. Draw a card. We're going to go into the questing phase. We put one progress, on, one resource onto Black 8 opens and raise each player's threat by one. Now we're going to discard. First, have to, we're going to quest for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then we're going to discard a card. To ready up Aragorn. There's a total of 4, 8, 13, 17 in the staging area. First card is the Waste of Dargalad. Second card is the 
Beleaguered Hills. Third card is another Gorgoroth Hill Troll. Fourth card is Orc of Mordor. Surge. Tower of Teeth. And last card is Hour of Doom. So, we got Doom 1. And we can either cancel that effect or raise our threat. At the moment we have 4, 8, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 29, so we'll be raising our threat by 17. We're going to play a test a well. Cancel that effect. Oh, we don't have a resource there. So it doesn't matter. So we'll raise the 300 stack by 3. And we're going to discard the highest cost ally because Gwai here has no cost and this tower has a total of four threat So the total is 4, 8, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 26, 27, 30. So we have 18. Now comes to the travel phase. All the enemies are coming down. We're going to travel to the Tower of Teeth. And this is discarded because requested unsuccessfully. And Gogoroth Hill Troll. We're going to engage that one with the Gondor deck. Now we're going to optionally engage the Nazgul of Mordor with the three hundred stack and the Orc of Mordor naturally engages the Gondor deck, and we have to exhaust a character. So we're going to exhaust We have six. I don't exhaust Aragorn. So 
how we deal out shadow cards. to ready up Aragorn. And the Gorgoth's Hill Troll is attacking for seven. We're going to take an undefended. No shadow. I deal seven damage. We're going to get rid of Prince Emmerhill. Now we have to discard a random card. One, so the raise us up by one, and we also have to put the overcome by grief onto Baragon. And now we're going to let's see. Takes us on undefended. Shadow defending player cannot ready until the end of the round. Well, there's no defending player, so that's good. Three damage on the Gandalf. We're going to block the race on wings with Baragond. No shadow, no damage. So we get reduce our threat by one. Then we're going to block the Nazgul of Mordor with Baragond. And defending player cannot ready until the end of the round. Now either we raise our threat by four or it goes back to the staging area. We're going to raise our threat by four. Now, we tack back. We're going to attack with Gandalf, who's attacking for, let's see, Legolas is attacking for one, two, three, four, five, six. We need 12, 16 to get the ring race. That race on wings. So Gimli's going to attack for eight, nine, ten. And Aymer adds another fourth so of 12, 14. And Legolas, he can't attack. He's already. Gandalf's going to join. Why here is going to join the attack. So that's 
17. That destroys the race on wings. And then Gandalf's attacking for four. And he's going to destroy the Orca Mordor. Now we go to the end of the round. Raise each player threat by one. And... Baragon can't ready. Each hero gets a resource. Draw a card. Elven Light. Going over to the Gondor deck, draw a card. We're going to use a test of will. Let's play. Switch a test of will with the top card of the deck. Now we're going to go to the questing phase. The quest for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to ready up Aragorn. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're ready up Aragon. And then we're going to also quest with Y here for 14. Now we put one resource onto the black gate and raise each player's threat by one. First card is a Nazgul of Mordor. Second card is a Yurikai Soldier. Third, Reeking Moat. Fourth is the Onslaught of Mordor. Each player deals one damage to a questing character he controls until the end of the phase. Each damage character gets minus one willpower until and cannot be healed. I'm going to play a test of will. Cancel that effect. And Baragon's going to defend because the Mouse of Sauron makes immediate attack. It's plus three attack if it's the Mouse of Sauron, so that is a total of nine attack. And that destroys. Baragond. Another onslaught of Mordor. We're going to play it. Test the will against that one. 
and Malthusaren's going to make an attack. We're going to take it undefended. Slopes, it deals six damage and it destroys Legolas. And so we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty three, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty three, one, thirty two. Against one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So that's nineteen. We have to raise our spread by so. That's over. We both spread it out at 108. The two MVPs, I would say, would be Unexpected Courage from the 300s deck and Gondorian Shield from the Gondor deck. The final score was 244. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you in Mount Doom. And I have five turns to destroy the ring. Bye.